And turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, hospital leaders voicing concerns that the holidays could prove to be dangerous, especially as unvaccinated people gather with family. Right now, Michigan is a hot spot, and the spike in cases is forcing some schools in Waterford, Detroit, and Southfield to go remote. Could a change in school schedules help slow the spread? It's something Southfield Public Schools has done, and others are considering doing as well. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell takes an in-depth look at the pros and cons. In response to staffing shortages, Southfield Public Schools changed its schedule from five days in-person learning to four days. And what happened next? Has some schools hit hard by COVID-19 right now? Taking notice. As November began, COVID-19 case rates increased dramatically in Michigan. But according to the Southfield Public Schools dashboard, case rates in the district remained relatively steady. And take a look at this. The community that surrounds the district has some of the lowest case rates in the county. Some are asking if it is because of something the schools are doing. I can't really state that it, it's making a difference with the COVID numbers coming from the community, but I can state that it is making a difference within our school district. Dr. Jennifer Green is superintendent of Southfield Public Schools. She sent an email to parents October 31st, saying that the district would move to a four day in-person week and teach remote one day a week through February. Has it helped? Yes, our attendance rate has increased on Fridays. It has also provided those students and staff at home in quarantine an opportunity to engage with in-person instruction in a synchronous manner. Seven Action News went to three of the area's top experts and asked, could the change in schedule lead to less transmission of COVID-19? Director of Infectious Disease Research at Beaumont Health, Dr. Sims says it's plausible. It's unclear. It's, it's one, it's, you know, it's one place. But, you know, the fact is, decrease the amount of exposure you decrease the chance of getting COVID. Oakland University Associate Professor in Microbiology and Immunology, Dwayne Baxa, says while COVID-19 is predominantly spread in the air, the deep clean carried out on that fifth day when school is closed could help. You are more susceptible to other infections if you have an infection because your immune system is trying to deal with that. So, um, you know, anything you can do to reduce the overall burden it would be beneficial. Infectious diseases lead for COVID-19 response at St. Joseph Mercy Health System. Dr. Anurag Malani says it might have a slight impact, but he recommends we focus, if possible, on what is already proven effective. And others agree. It's wearing a mask and, and getting your vaccine. If uh, people aren't vaccinated, if people aren't wearing masks, if people aren't social distancing, then that extra day off isn't going to make a big deal. Speaking as a parent, I'd love to keep my kids in person as much as possible, but it needs to be done safely. My my school district mandates masking, and, you know, if they didn't, that would have been a concern. We will soon have more data for researchers to analyze. The Detroit Public Schools Community District is planning to move to a four-day in-person schedule starting next month to deal with staffing shortages, allow for deep cleaning, and hopefully slow the spread of the virus. It's something everyone wants to see happen at this critical time, one way or another. The way that hospitals are, uh, we're really, really busy. And it's, um, you know, these are really challenging and difficult times. And um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. As more time goes on, we'll be able to collect more data and determine if this schedule change is a mitigation tool to protect kids. In Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.